When I started the Tenth Amendment Center back in 2006, I expected the Tenth to always be hated by the mainstream. But this year's campaign for president shows that on at least one issue, the mainstream has totally accepted the Tenther view. We'll talk about that next. It wasn't long ago that you could count on any politician running for federal office to toe the line for complete and total federal marijuana prohibition. But during this presidential election cycle, things have clearly turned around with almost every candidate wanting to prove their 10th Amendment street cred. Establishment people like Jeb Bush have taken the 10th position, saying, quote, I thought legalizing marijuana in Colorado was a bad idea, but states ought to have that right to do it. And Hillary Clinton is doing the same. She said, I think that the state's moving forward is appropriate. Even hardcore social conservative Mike Huckabee said he is willing to let states operate under the 10th Amendment when it comes to weed. Now make no mistake, these people didn't all suddenly wake up after some kind of vision and suddenly decide to forego their devotion to federal power. They didn't stake out this 10th Amendment policy position on marijuana because they saw the light on their own. The only reason we're hearing from most candidates from both major political parties talking about the 10th Amendment and states being able to determine their own marijuana policy is because the people, and then the states, acted without first getting federal permission. And that should be our approach to everything, because the federal government will never willingly fix problems created by the federal government. My name is Michael Bolden, reporting for the Tenth Amendment Center. Thank you so much for watching.